Hey guys, I have a new video for you today. Now, as you see here, I have something sort of resembling a floor. And if I were to activate this creation, you will see it'll swap out to glowstone. And then if I activate it again, it'll swap back out to a piece of block. And uh, you could replace this with the lever if you really wanted to. Um, but I prefer the comparator myself. And it's up to you guys. Um, but it is the smallest lever activated block swapper, I believe. Floor block swapper. And it comes in at a size of 5 by five if you don't count the floor. So to start us off, I'm gonna be making our piston placement as usual, and this is just a standard upwards block swapping layout, and it doesn't really matter what order the blocks are in or if they're solid or not. Uh, this creation really couldn't care less. So I go down three blocks from the sticky piston, and uh, go one left and that is our input right there then I'm gonna need to grab myself a hopper and a dropper but sadly no hopper dropper monostables today instead we are strongly powering that dropper which uh, powers that hopper keeping the item up in there and not sending a pulse uh, which is what we want because hopper droppers have interesting timings that are perfect for what we are using them for today so have a torch there block and then a dust on a slab, have a block there and after we put a repeater on three, it is exactly mirroring the other side like that. So I uh, give it a test, as you see there when I turn it on it'll swap to the glowstone and when I turn it off it'll swap back to a block. So if you're just here for the tutorial, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed but if you want to stay for the explanation then here we go. So uh, obviously these torches are really the inputs this lever isn't powering anything besides the torches uh, so if I were to flick that on what happens first is this torch turns off which allows the item from this hopper to go back into the dropper turning this side off and because this side had a piston extended earlier this could not activate at all uh, so when we retract this side and have this piston turn off it allows the left side to swap which is what we want so this repeater over here gives us the necessary delay uh, for us to make that happen and only after does this repeater turn off does this turn on um, and this repeater is just timed perfectly with this side over here so we have just enough delay and not too much and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, going the other way it pretty much does the exact same thing this torch turns that torch off over there turning this side off which allows this side to swap uh, through the means of that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video in fact I actually have a Crimson Stone upload coming in a couple days so if you're interested in uh, survival then uh, stay tuned but yeah until next time goodbye